Hello friends, this is School Fees Management System Tutorial Series. And under this part, we will create setting page for manage school or institution details. And by using this setting page, we can set school name, address, contact number and email details. In previous part, we have already make profile page, so admin or sub user can change their profile details. And with profile details, they can also change password details also, so if you have not seen that part, so first watch that part. Now for setting page, we have already created, setting table, with 6 table column. And under this table, we will store fees management system setting data. Now first we want to add setting page, at admin side dashboard, so for this, we have open header.php file. And here we have to create, open and close list tag, and between this, we have to write. Anchor tag, with class is equal to, drop down item class. An href attribute is equal to setting.php, and between anchor text, we have to write setting, so by click on this link, we can access setting page. Friends, here first we have to refresh web page, and after this, we have to click, on user icon. And after click, here we can see that, drop down menu has been display, below user icon, and under this, we can see setting page link. Now we have go to setting.php file, and under this file, we want to include database connection file. So here we have to write, include statement with, database connection.php file. Now we want to prevent to access, this page, and it must be accessed by only admin, so for this, here we have to write. If statement, and under condition, we have called, is login function, so this function will check. We has been login into system or not, if user is not login into system, then it will execute, if block of code. Now under this block, we have to write, header function, and under this function, we have to write. Location which has been set to, login.php, so if we have tried to access, this page without login, then it will redirect to, login.php file. Next we want to include header.php file, so here we have write, include statement, with header.php. And same way, we want to include footer.php file, so for this, here we have to write, include statement, with footer.php file. So here, we have to click, on setting.php file, so here we can see that blank page has been load, on the web page. That means, here our template is ready, now we want to make setting page. So for this, we have goes to setting.php file, and here, we have to create form tag, with method is equal to post. Under this form, first we want to create input field, for enter school name detail. So here, we have to write, input type is equal to text, name is equal to school name, and class is equal to form control. Next for enter school address detail, we have to create text area field. So for this, we have to write, text area field, with name is equal to school address, and class is equal to form control. After this, we have to create input field, for enter school control number details. So for this, here we have to write, input type is equal to text, name is equal to school contact number, and class is equal to form control. Same way for define school email address detail, so here we have to write. Input type is equal to text, name is equal to school email address, and class is equal to form control. Next for enter school website details, so here we have to write. Input type is equal to text, name is equal to school website, and class is equal to form control. Now we want to create one hidden field, for store setting ID data. So here, we have to write, input type is equal to hidden, and name is equal to setting ID.
Now for submit this form data, so here we have to create one input tag, with type is equal to submit. Name is equal to submit, and value is equal to save, so by click on this button, we can change school setting data. So here, first we have refreshed this page, and after refresh of web page, here we can see that. Setting form has been created, and now we want to fill, this form with data, which we want to fetch, from setting table. So for this here in setting.php file, and here we have create, 7 local variable like. Dollar message is equal to blank value, dollar error variable is equal to blank value. Dollar setting id variable is equal to blank value, dollar school name variable is equal to blank value. Dollar school address variable is equal to blank value, dollar school website variable is equal to blank value. And dollar school contact number variable is equal to blank value, so here we have defined some local variable. Now for fetch data from setting table, so here we have to write, dollar query variable is equal to. Select star from setting table, with limit of one row of data. And below this query, we have to write, dollar result variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with query method. And under this, we have to write dollar $query variable, so this method will return, query execution result. After this, for fetch data from dollar $result variable, we have to write. For each loop, and under condition, we have to write, dollar $result variable as dollar $row variable. Under this loop, we have to write, dollar $school name variable is equal to, dollar $row school name variable. After this, we have to write, dollar school address variable is equal to, dollar row school address variable. Next we have to write, dollar school email address variable is equal to, dollar row school email address variable. After this, we have to write, dollar school website variable is equal to, dollar row school website variable. Below this, we have to write, dollar school contact number variable is equal to, dollar row school contact number variable. And lastly, we have to write, dollar setting id variable is equal to, dollar row setting id variable. So here, we have store setting table data, under this local variable, now we want to fill, form with setting table data. So first we want to fill school name text box, so here in value attribute, we have to write, echo statement with dollar school name variable. After this, we want to fill school address text area field, so for this, here we have to write, php echo statement, with dollar school address variable. Same way we want to fill school contact number detail, so here in value attribute, we have to write, echo statement with, dollar school contact number variable. Next we want to fill school email address field with data, so here in value attribute, we have to write, php echo statement, with dollar school email address variable. After this, we want to fill school website field data, so here in value attribute, we have to write, php echo statement, with dollar school website variable. After this, we want to fill hidden setting id field, so here we have to write, php echo echo statement, with dollar setting id variable. Now here, first we have to refresh web page, and after refresh of page, here we can see that. School setting form has been filled with data, now we have proceed for change, school setting page data. For those things, we have go to setting.php file, and here we have to write, if statement. And under condition, we have to write, is set function, and under this function, we have to write. Dollar post submit variable, so if this variable value is set, then it will execute, if block of code. So under this block, we have create one dollar data variable is equal to an array, and under this variable, we will store setting form data. So in first array key, we have to write, double colon school name. And in value, we have to write, dollar post school name variable.
In array second key, we have to write double colon school address. And in value, we have to write dollar post school address variable. In array third key, we have to write double colon school contact number. And in value, we have to write dollar post school contact number variable. In array fourth key, we have to write double colon school email address. And in value, we have to write dollar post school email address variable. In array fifth key, we have to write double colon school website. And in value, we have to write dollar post school website variable. So here, we have store form data under this array. Now when we have first time enter setting page data, then data insert into setting table, otherwise update data into setting table. So for this, here we have to write if statement and under condition, we have to write dollar post setting ID variable value is equal to blank. So if this condition true, then we have first time enter data into setting page. So under this block, we want to write query for insert data. So here, we have to write dollar $query variable is equal to insert into setting table. With table column like school name, school address, school email address, school website and school contact number. With values get from double colon school name, school address, school email address, school website and school contact number. But suppose above condition true, then in else block of code, we have to write, update data query. So here, we have to write, dollar $query variable is equal to, update setting table, and after this, we have to write, set school name is equal to double colon school name, comma school address is equal to, double colon school address. Comma school email address is equal to, double colon school email address, comma school website is equal to, double colon school website. Comma school contact number is equal to double colon school contact number. After this, in where condition, we have to write setting ID is equal to dollar post setting ID variable value. So here, we have write insert data query and update data query. So based on condition, any one query will be execute. Now below this query, we have to write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare method. And under this method, we have to write dollar $query variable, so this method will make query for execution. Now for execute above query, so here, we have to write dollar $statement variable with execute method. And under this method, we have to write dollar $data variable, so it will execute above query, and it will change school setting data in database. After this below it, we have to write dollar $message variable is equal to message like data edited. Now we want to display success message on the web page. So here we have to write PHP echo statement with dollar message variable. So it will display success message on the web page. So here our code is ready. Now we have to check output in the browser. Friends, here first we have refresh web page and after refresh of page, here we can see that school setting form has been loaded on the web page with fill data and below it we can see edit button. So here we can change school setting detail at any time. So here we have changed school email address detail. And after this, we have to click on edit button. So after click on the edit button, here we can see that success message has been displayed on the web page. And here in setting form, we can see that email address details has been changed. So here under this part, we have make school management system setting page. And admin can only access this page, and admin can change school setting data at any time. In next part, we will start making user management module, and under that module, we will first load user table data. Under jQuery data tables, with server side processing of data, by using PHP with MySQL database, so we will be meet in next part.